waiting for this to finish so that way I can continue. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully no interruptions this time. This is the Transformer Prime and we're going to be flashing NV Flash, which is supposed to keep you from being able to permanently break your device. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description of this video. Just click this right here. It'll open up a new tab if you middle click on it like I do. And then there's a guide right here. This guy right here has made a little tutorial that we're gonna go ahead and follow. I have my tablet plugged in, download the most recent version of the Naked Drivers here. Download. All right, we're gonna take these and we're gonna extract them. We're also gonna download this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in one place. I'll put this in there too and this contains the four files that you need. So we'll set that to the side. Go to the device manager. The easiest way I've found is to click on the little start icon, right click on my computer and click manage, and then press device manager. I don't know why that's doing that, but under Android device, you see the transformer prime and uninstall the current driver. Then we downloaded those drivers right there, so it says unplug your tablet, turn off the internet. Alright, all internet has been cut. Plug it in, driver's not installed. You can't see that because I'm recording the other screen, but we need to bring up the device manager again. Then we need to go to this one right here. It says to right click on it and choose update driver software, browse, and navigate to the folder you insert the package. I am an idiot. I did not extract the drivers. Wow. Right click, extract to. Now the drivers are right here. I am an idiot. Okay, update, browse my computer. It's in there now, so click. Well, I'll just show you anyway. Josh, downloads, NV, universal naked driver, next. You get this nice little warning, install driver anyway. All right, we're good to go there. It says that we need to reboot the device into fast boot mode. What I'm actually unclear about at the moment is it says unzip the attached file, open the command prompt in the folder. So we're gonna hold shift, right click, and choose open command window here. And when you put the device in fast boot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot it. Hold volume down. and do nothing it says so I'm not touching it press down to the USB icon is selected and then press up Nonsense. now the computer says it's installing drivers and the drivers are installed successfully alright we are back we are in fast boot like we're supposed to be so we're gonna copy these it says you do not need to copy the little sign right there I'm sure it's only for Linux and we're gonna go back to our command prompt paste and press enter. Not sure what the heck is going on. Let me take these files and move them over to the... In order to get the fastboot commands to work, I had to copy these four files into the same directory as ADB and fastboot. I'm pressing Control A to select all the files, Control C to copy the files, and Control V to paste them. There we go. We got them pasted in this folder. So we'll go ahead and shift, right click, open command window here. Copy this command again, paste it, there we go, it's doing stuff now. After ensuring succeeds, before continuing this guide, you can verify you have Android bootloader installed as described below. After the flash rush is completed, you will need to reboot your device into fastboot again by following the process above, or otherwise ensuring this time, instead of the this device is unlocked appearing in the top left of the screen. Use the Android root as presented above. We recommend rebooting to the following command. Okay, so we're going to reboot using Fastboot. The guide is right here. Just if we can copy it. Paste this. The device is rebooting. Let's see what we have at the top. This is exciting. Oh, it says it right there. I don't know how clear that is because I'm viewing this on my computer. Oh my goodness, that is exciting. 
<laughs> All right. Now we just gotta wait for AOKP to boot up and we're gonna go back into the bootloader. All right, so again, it's getting easier now. Before it was a little bit tricky for me to get into, you know, fast boot, but now I've got it figured out. You just reboot it like normal. And then as soon as you see it vibrate and it goes to a black screen, start holding volume down. Hold it. And then let go. Don't do anything yet. Now press volume down. And then press volume up. Alright, now we're good to go on there. We're going to right click this command right here. Open up the terminal again, copy, paste, enter. This command will boot the custom Android blob required. Please note this process takes about 20 to 30 seconds. It will automatically reboot once it's completed. No progress is displayed during this time, so please wait patiently. Awesome. As you can tell, I'm super, super excited about this. Oh. And it does say it at the top. It does say it at the freaking top. <laughs> Alright, so our Transformer Prime is now booted back up. It says that we need to go to the SD card Android root and copy them to the same folder in your PC as all the flash files. For some reason, the files weren't showing up until I rebooted my Transformer Prime and reconnected it. I'm not seeing those files. Yeah, I'm not seeing those files that they're speaking of. Let's see if they're in here. Yes, File Explorer. Allow. Android root. Okay, right there. Awesome. Alright, so I took all five of these files and I just uploaded them to Dropbox. I'm going to go to Dropbox and verify that they are indeed online. At this point, I'm going to take these five files that were in the Android root folder and I'm going to put them in box.net. And then the second one. And then the third one. And then the fourth one. Last but not least, the last one, the fifth one. You can clearly see the files right here. So we have the five files right here. Check, check, one, one two, two, three. Audio in sync. All right, so we rebooted the Prime. Let's see if our files are now showing up under Android root. They are awesome. So you know what? I'm going to take this entire folder. You have to go to this folder, take all five files, and you need to back them up multiple times. I got them on box.net, I have them on Dropbox, I'm gonna put them on Google Drive, I'm gonna put them everywhere. Apparently these are like super duper important files. So we're gonna copy these, go back to this area where we took the files that the MV Flash folder contained, and we're gonna paste them in there. Okay, something didn't go right. Oh yeah, because we're in the Transformer Prime and you can't do that. You actually have to go in here to the Android root folder and we have to take these Control all selects all of them and then drag them. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So at this point, we have done this step right here. The most important thing you could apparently do. Finally, you'll be able to access the MV Flash using Willy. To do this, please reboot your device in APX mode by holding the volume down key during the reboot process. If successful, it should remain blank and detect it over USB by your computer as in device mode. To bootstrap into NV Flash using the Willy, simply run the following command. All right, we will try that again and we won't let go of it this time. Remember, this is my very first time doing this and I am <laughs> doing things on the fly here. I have not done this before. I haven't had practice. <laughs> oh. Start holding volume up. Do not let go this time. Rebooting. 
Please don't be like me and think you're too good for a guide. The guide clearly says at the bottom part of it that once you get it back in Envy Flash mode, you've got to go back and update your drivers like you did before. That's the only way it's going to work. Aha! That's what it was right there, that driver. I just did the update driver like I did before. Now it looks like that. And at the top there, you'll see the chip UID and device update success. <laughs> Everything has been good so far. Okay, so he's saying exactly what I did. And I just thought of that on my own. That's awesome. This has been a very, very, very fun journey so far. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and go ahead and talk you through this. The reason it was failing for me over and over and over again was simply because there was a certain zip that you need to extract in place with the files that you placed inside the folder that has ADB and fast food. Trust me, just keep watching and ignore this part. Alrighty, this is beyond frustrating. At this point, I think I have figured it out thanks to this guy right here. He helped me find post 125, which is right here. Basically, we need to click this, and it'll download it. And when you open it, there's a folder. And we need to take all these files and put them in the same area where we're putting all this stuff. Alrighty. So we'll go back to this post right here. Again, like always, we're going to right click somewhere on here, open command window here, and then we're going to paste that. Before we were getting stuck on this screen right here, now we can actually flash this since we have all the files we need. Ha ha ha! We could not do that before! And we'll do this one. And then we'll do this one. And then last but not least, we'll do this one. Awesome. Now the tablet is going to be rebooting. Awesome, okay, so it doesn't actually put the files on your SD card, it puts it in here. You got your unlock token and your factory config. These two files are right here. So we're going to copy these. These are the two that were created using NV Flash. Oh, okay, no, actually there's three. These three files right here. Brick safe, factory config, and unlock token. So these three plus these five. That's my understanding. I'm going to put these in Dropbox, Box.net, email them, everything I said, and then Mediafire, just every single place you can possibly store these. External hard drives in your safety deposit box, wherever you need to put them. Just keep them safe. Don't ever lose them. We successfully have a flashed Transformer Prime that can never be permanently bricked. If this video helped you out, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you could also give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment let me know your experiences with this. If you plan on running this. If you're scared like I was uh, of breaking your prime and ending up like other people on the forums. Or just simply don't want to go through all the trouble. Just please leave me a comment about what you think of the video. If you plan on doing this or not. And give the video a thumbs up. That's all I ask. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.